Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a horror Royal Rumble, horror movies. Uh, I'm going to be introducing the horror movie teams. However, I could switch it up every once in a while for one of the teams. Um, 30 horror movie characters in this Rumble. We got some faces that we didn't use the last time we had horror movies. Um, and yeah, there's tons of characters. I've downloaded almost about uh, 45 uh, from just movies alone. We're not even talking about games. So, we're going to have a lot of fun with this. And I don't know what we're going to do. I know we're going to have the women's tournament coming up. Um, but this is the Halloween kickoff rumble. So, October 1st is here. Finally. We've waited so long. And once it's November 1st, we'll be, all be mad again. So, uh, we'll have to wait another year. Ugh. I hate it. So, and we are starting off with Harry Warden from My Bloody Valentine. So, yeah. Um, he's probably, I, I have two sets of teams here, but I'm not going to, you know, as they get eliminated, I'm not going to, I'm not really going to say who's who. Uh, but it's, I have 15 of the main franchise guys. And then I have the, you know, the odd, the ones that maybe have one or two movies like this guy. So, you will get all the main people. However, you will also get a bunch of people you may have never even heard of. Some of, some people haven't heard of. But this is officially the October 1st kickoff. So, I'm going to be watching tons of horror movies. I encourage everyone who loves horror movies, only people who love horror movies, to try to watch 31 movies this month. Horror. If you have the time. You know, you got to celebrate. It doesn't matter which ones. And it uh, looks like Harry Ward will face off with Jigsaw. I consider Jigsaw that top 15. Uh, you know, the I pick 15 in particular that fit the, you know, kind of a Mount Rushmore type, but with 15 faces. I feel like Jigsaw easily earns his place on that 15. So, I'll, I'll tell you guys who, which ones are which for me. But, basically, we're just going to have a bunch of horror movie characters. There's really nothing at stake here. And, um... Oh, man, what a move there. And number three is Pinhead. I'd put him in that 15 as well. And Pinhead in the house. I might watch a couple Hellraiser movies this year. So I've seen about five of them now. There's about eight or nine. I won't watch number eight. I think eight's like one of the worst movies ever made. That's what people have told me. It's uh, called Revelations, I think. Um, you know, I will not watch a Hellraiser movie without Doug Bradley. And that is, you know. And Maniac Cops number four, I'm probably going to watch that one this year. So, I have that one on my list of stuff to watch. I've never seen it. It looks so cool. Um, I don't know anything about it. I just figure he's a maniac who's a cop. You know, I, I, I put the two the two and two together. You know, and uh-oh, Pinhead already starting off here on Harry Warden. Choke slam out of the ring. And what I've been planning is maybe I'll take, you know, 15 of certain amounts of horror characters and stacking them as a team and I'll take all these other teams and have them go up against the horror team throughout the month of October. That's what I'm going to try to do. And my buddy Sam is here. Sam is one of my favorites. He's absolutely one of my favorites. Ever. It's a shame he only has one movie. They're going to someday put out the second one. From Trick or Treat. One of my favorite horror movies. Uh, my favorite to watch on Halloween night besides Halloween. And, uh, and Jack is number six from The Shining. 
And there goes Sam. Sam has been eliminated. Got a lot of great characters here. Love these characters. And no, Mick Taylor didn't get invited. So, you know, I had I had about 40 characters overall, almost 45. And I looked at Mick Taylor and I was like, you know what? I don't think you're going on this list because I don't like you. And you're not even, I mean, he's not even that popular. He's not like I don't like Jigsaw or something. And Dracula, I'd put in the 15, definitely. Because, uh, you know, I know a lot of you all love slashers and stuff, but Dracula is one of the biggest horror icons ever. Um, whether you're into vampire movies or not, it's just the, the facts. I love vampire movies, and I love vampire women. I love vampire women. You just cannot go wrong with vampire women. Like Celine, for an example. That would be the perfect example. <laughs> And number eight is Alien, and I would put him in that 15. I know a lot of you all say, well, he's science fiction. The first Alien movie is a horror movie, okay? Whether you want to admit it or not, the first one definitely is. It plays with the atmosphere, the claustrophobia, all that stuff. Now, Aliens, more science fiction. I can agree with you on that. But Alien, the first Alien movie, is definitely a horror movie with sci-fi elements. And Jason is number nine. And, of course, he's on that 15 for me as well. Of course, he's, I mean, he's one of the main guys. He always does well in these rumbles. So far, Pinhead's been eliminated. And uh, who else got eliminated? I think somebody else did. Pinhead got somebody. Jigsaw out. And Norman Bates at number 10. Norman Bates, of course, psycho. I would put him in the 15, you know. Uh, this one was kind of uh, towards the end of the 15, but I definitely put Norman Bates in there because uh, the Psycho is one of the, like, it's not the, I wouldn't consider it the first slasher film, but it's it's got one of the best kills of all time in it. Of course, if you don't know, the shower kill. And, uh, yeah, it's so iconic. Alfred Hitchcock, uh, just great movie. And Hannibal Lecter at number 11. I would almost put him at the 15, but I didn't for the main guys. He, he's close to the main ones. But Hannibal Lecter in the house, big fan of Silence of the Lambs, and I love Hannibal Rising. Um, I love the show, though. I love the show more than the movies. Uh, the Hannibal show is one of my favorite shows. And I don't know if it's ever coming back, but... And there goes Jack. There goes Hannibal. Hannibal never does good. And Leprechaun at number 12. And look at Dracula. Oh, no way. Oh, my goodness. Dr Jason's been eliminated. There's no way that would ever happen. Jason would stick a stake in his heart. Dracula versus Jason. 
it's not like Freddy versus Jason. If it was Dracula versus uh, Jason, it would be a, a short film. It may last seven minutes. Seven minutes. Jason could kill Dracula in seven minutes. Dracula's just so weak. He hides in a he hides in a coffin. They go like in the movie Dracula. They just go in, stick him. The movie's done. It's like what? And I respect Dracula, but come on, lock your cellar. I think he makes it hard for him to find, but still, eventually someone's gonna stumble across you sleeping in a coffin. You know, Leatherface definitely on that 15. Big Texas Chainsaw fan, one of my favorite movies. Not a big fan of the rest of them. Uh, I like number two okay, and the, uh, Texas Chainsaw, the beginning's pretty... F I think it's fun, but it's not a good movie. I like it, though. I enjoy it. I enjoy Leatherface. I'm just not a big fan of the movies. I haven't seen Texas Chainsaw 3. Um, of course, before I can watch that, they're going to take it off in September because that's what they do with horror movies. They just take them all off and then... Uh, it's like, what in the world? Chucky, definitely on that 15. People have like, I wouldn't put Leprechaun on the 15. He's, he's too goofy. You, you shouldn't take him seriously. He definitely, he does, he has one good movie if you come to think about it. I mean, I've, I like a bunch of his movies, but technically only one's really good. <laughs> Some of them are really bad. And Dracula eliminates Norman Bates. Freddy Krueger's number 16. And of course, definitely on the 15 there, Freddy is. Oh man, Freddy already putting a hurting on everyone. It's gonna be Leprechaun. Oh! Oh, nice, nice eye rake. Oh, nice. And Elian looks like Elian's out. Ghostface at 17. Usually I forget to always download it. I really do. I put him in the 15 as well. I think, le yeah, Leprechaun's done. Three finger from wrong turn. I've only seen one of those. I definitely can't wait to watch uh, Freddy vs. Jason. Happy Death Day at 19. I'm not a fan of that movie. I've never been a fan of that movie. But I went ahead and put it on there for you all. I know I need to spice things up, so that's what I've been trying to do. Oh, and there goes Freddy. What a shame. 
And Ghostface. Oh, nice move there by Leatherface. Reversal. Oh, there goes Leatherface. Three finger with elimination. Some of, some of the best are getting eliminated by some of the weirdest. Art the Clown's number 20. He is an upcoming horror icon. The, the terrifier, and I'll tell you, he's pretty terrifying. He's, yeah. That is a movie that I'm probably, I might, well, uh, it was a rough one. And that takes a lot for me to say that. It was a rough one. <laughs> and 21, Michael Myers. And maybe on the 31st, we'll have a Halloween rumble for like a Halloween championship and stuff like that. But we're going to go ahead and kick it off here. And happy death day. Oh, three fingers still in. And number 22 is Jaws. Oh, man. Chucky making... Threatening hand gestures. 22's Jaws. And yes, I count it as horror. I do. I know you all You all can sit here and debate all you want. You all can sit here and debate all you want. It's a creature horror. Counts as a creature. It's just like a giant crocodile does. Okay? It's in the horror section in the movie store. In every movie place. And not only that... It terrifies more people than most of these movies. It, it caused a bunch of people never to go in the ocean. So, yeah. And The Prowler is number 23. I plan on watching this one really soon. Um, I've never seen it. He's all, He only has like one movie, but it's a cult classic. And both Michael Myers and Chucky are out, man. The little guys are, you know, they're, well, Jaws is a big guy. But the little guys are really coming in handy here. I really hope Jaws doesn't win, though. And Jaws! Art the Clown still in. Candyman at number 24. Three finger could be done here. Good. This is a great rumble to kick off October 1st with. Really is. And Predator. I know some of you all want to say science fiction on this. No. It is science fiction horror. There's a, they're allowed to cross each other. Okay? What is pure sci-fi is like Star Trek. You know? When you got someone that, you know, has the spinal cords, cords of his enemy, that's horror. And the Predator has already taken out his first victim. And Art the Clown takes out Jaws. Oh my goodness. 
Art the Clown in the house. The Terrifier has struck. And Ginger Dead Man at number 26. Never have seen one of those. And he's definitely not in that 15. <laughs> the Predator is. I'd put the Predator in that 15. Iconic characters. The rest of these guys aren't. Candyman's, well, nah, Candyman's not either. He's like the top tier of the unknowns, though. And Predator eliminates Candyman. There goes Art the Clown. Eliminated by the Ginger Dead Man. I'll probably never watch those. The, the, there's a point where he gets a little too ridiculous. And the Ginger Dead Man would probably qualify for the, the, the most... I, I I went I was I I went over the top with Leprechaun. And that's as far as I'm going. Okay. <laughs> We're not gonna have gingerbread men killers now. Come on. Well, I don't know. Rubber's a pretty amazing movie as well. <laughs> so maybe I could watch it, you know? If I could watch rubber, I can watch anything. But Rubber's like, you know, Rubber's like an Oscar-worthy movie. It's like The Godfather to me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So many jokes about Rubber. And Frankenstein, 15, whether I like him or not. I'm not a big Frankenstein fan, but I definitely put him in that 15. He's one of the uh, first monster horror movies, so... And 28 is Captain Spalding from The Devil's Rejects and House of a Thousand Corpses. Rob Zombie character. Oh, and Captain Spalding has eliminated somebody. We've really had no standouts, really. We've had a couple guys do some cool eliminations, but the Invisible Man at number 29, I put him in the 15. Uh, Happy Death Day Killer is out good. I didn't want him to win. I'm, I, I, I can't stand that movie. I, I, just, I just can't, honestly. I think it's terrible. And it's got a great concept, too. The whole, you know, you come back to life and do it all over again. It's like Groundhog Day, but with a, a killer. But honestly, it's just, I, I don't like it. I like movies, if you're going to uh, hide who the killer is, if it's stupid, it does not work. It just ruins the whole movie for me. So, that's why Jason and Michael work so much, because I already know who the killer is. And that's why like movies like Scream 2 and Scream 3 are just not good. Because you, like, the killer ends up being, like, you know, someone you barely even know or stuff like that. I just think that's ridiculous. At least with number one, it was just so, uh, uh, the, the reveal in Scream 1 is just fantastic. So. But in, like, Scream 2 and 3, it's like, 3 is definitely a joke. I don't remember two, but three is like, what? And Captain Spaulding eliminates Madman Mars. And oh, I didn't get her introduce my boy Madman Mars, my buddy. I like old Madman. I they need to make a movie about another movie about him. He's an icon he's a cool character, but you know, he only had one movie, and it's not that popular. He would be a cool villain. I mean. An Invisible Man eliminates the Prowler. They need to do like an Avengers movie with. Like they need to have the Expendables versus Michael Myers. And Jason and Freddy and Chucky and Motherface. That would be awesome. Have Stallone in there. Have Chuck Norris in there. Well Chuck Norris would win in the end but still. It'd be fun. 
Imagine Chuck Norris versus Jason. That'd be awesome. Stallone versus Michael. The Predator's in trouble. And the Predator is out. I don't know. I, I got to root for the Invisible Man. He's one of my all-time favorites. One of my favorite movies, too. Even though it's black and white 1930s, it's so fantastic. And Ginger Dead Man's out. Thank goodness. I'm definitely rooting for the Invisible Man now. And I know we've done rumbles like this before, but we introduced a couple guys that we've had in past rumbles, but not in these, like the Prowler, like Ginger Dead Man. The Invisible Man has been eliminated. So, I know we've had videos like this, but, you know, we got to celebrate October 1st. Oh, man, Frankenstein with the big boot. Invisible man's out, it looks like. That's unfortunate. I don't know who to root for now. Captain, I, uh, as much as Captain Spaulding's an amazing villain, I don't like them, okay? I don't like that whole family, okay? I like Tiny, and that's about it. And that's because Tiny is just, you know, innocent. Yes, Frankenstein wins. So, Frankenstein... Stands tall at the end, which, you know, some would say that he is the best. To be honest with you, I am not a Frankenstein fan. I'm just not. I respect him as what he is. You know, he is one of the, you know, the the founders of horror movies and stuff like that. But I, I just, I'm just not a fan of the movies. I, re I prefer The Invisible Man winning. I mean, they're all right, but I mean, like, don't put it. You're not going to WrestleMania. It's alive. It's alive. Not at WrestleMania. It's not. It's not going to be at WrestleMania because if you take one foot in WrestleMania, you're a dead man. You understand me? It's alive. It's alive. No, not at WrestleMania. It isn't. You point at the sign, you pay the fine. That's the saying around here. And you're not going to WrestleMania, Frankenstein. You're not. I don't care if you bring the bride. I don't care if you bring your doctor. Okay? If you try, we'll get all the fans with pitchforks. And you will not go to WrestleMania. I guarantee you that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, no one stood out. We haven't had any standouts the last few Rumbles. I mean... That kind of stinks, but, you know, we still had fun with it. Um, Frankenstein wins. He is a big guy, so, yeah. It's, all, it's a little bit disappointing, but num I don't think he was number 30. I think it was Spalding at number 30, I think. I'm not for sure, though. But anyway, I don't remember. I don't remember anything good. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoy October. Uh, for all you horror lovers, make sure to watch as many horror movies as possible. For all you people that hate horror... I forgive you. I do. Um, and I will see you guys later.